Most of us aren't necessarily big fans of things like spiders, snakes, or large insects. But one place in Brevard County is dedicating programs to teach the public about the role among us and why they're needed. We're talking about a place called Enchanted Forest Sanctuary where you can take tours and connect with animals on hiking trails. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona took a stroll and shows us more. The Enchanted Forest Sanctuary is a safe haven for Florida's habitat, just south of Titusville, with eight hiking trails that offer sounds from all kinds of birds. Things like uh, wide-eyed vireo, uh, uh, blue-gray gnat catchers, cardinals, of course, uh, mockingbirds. Patricia Rendon, education coordinator, says the sanctuary's environmentally endangered lands program focuses on protecting the wildlife and preserving the land. We're not um, just putting up a fence and leaving it because a lot's changed over years and years and years of mm -hmm. development. It changes the landscape. When we're able to preserve these places, we see more diversity, we see healthier wildlife as a result of that. A program established throughout Brevard County protecting 22 habitats. Here at the Enchanted Forest, we have eight different uh, habitats represented here. We have a lot of diversity in our own backyard. The almost 500-acre sanctuary is home to Florida wildlife like white-tailed deer, bobcats, indigo snakes, armadillos, and gopher tortoises, among other animals. We have so many different kinds of plants and animals intersecting. Here specifically, we have subtropical and temperate plants kind of meeting and coexisting, um, and we really don't see that a whole lot of places. Century-old oak trees offer breathtaking views with their long branches overlooking the forest. We also have a lot of sable palm. They're also called cabbage palms, which is our state tree. Um, and uh, lots of ferns and wild coffee. On Saturday, Enchanted Forest will be holding a creepy crawly day. Some of the animals that will be brought in for the public to see are coral snakes, which are known to be venomous, a few bats, and also Florida's very own reptiles, such as alligators. We want to kind of showcase these animals that maybe are a little bit mis misunderstood. Um, like snakes and bats and things that people maybe aren't too crazy about. Visitors will also get to meet Ember. When she's sticking her tongue out, um, she's actually grabbing air particles with her tongue. A red rat snake, also called corn snake, that was born in captivity. She's our animal ambassador, so she comes out and meets school groups, uh, summer camps, uh, even the general public. The Creepy Crawly event will also treat visitors to some chocolate-covered insects a delicacy in other countries. We're a little behind the curve here, I think, because uh, two-thirds of the world's humans incorporates insects into their daily diet. I'm about to try this chocolate-covered cricket. I actually feel a little bit bad eating this. Okay, it's crunchy. It kind of <laughs> tastes like a wafer. Carolina Cardona. Okay, about to eat the legs. <laughs> New 6 at 9. Not bad. Carolina was so oh. generous that she, yes. she left oh. us. So, so sweet. So we'll have I didn't these. take it. I didn't take a look. Oh, there's yeah. more than one. Yeah, yeah so that can be our little you. our yeah. little snack. Seventy <laughs> calories. Okay. Only one gram of protein. Um, ten oh, grams of carbohydrates. So <laughs> not keto. Yeah. Gonna pass. Uh, <laughs> last week, didn't she go to a chocolate factory? We didn't see any of no those samples. Chocolate. No right. samples of that, but she brings yeah. us the insects. But I mean, that's a cool event, and it runs from Saturday from 10 to 2. It's open to the public, and it's free, and it's shaded. You and know? if you're an outdoorsy person, the Enchanted Forest needs volunteers all the time mm -hmm. for all types of things, from guides to photography, so you can get involved that yeah. way. Yeah, and their program protects 22 different habitats, which is really cool. Yeah, and in Brevard County, there's so many of these habitats. Mm -hmm. You kind of see that they're still in touch, so it's always nice to see that natural Florida yes. yeah. still there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah.